UFC 299 O'Malley vs. Vera 2 took place on March 9th in front of a sold-out Kaseya Center in Miami, Florida. The event brought in just over $14 million at the gate and another $7 million more from ESPN's exclusive broadcasting rights, not to mention pay-per-view revenue, sponsorships, and merchandise. But how much of the pie did the fighters take home? Welcome to MMA Money. Hit the like button if you enjoy the video. Let's jump into the first fight. Kicking off the main card, former champ Pyotr Jan took on fellow Bantamweight Song Yadong. Jan had a sluggish start to the fight, but eventually hit his stride, landing hard shots and incorporating takedowns to upset Yadong's momentum. Throughout 15 minutes, Jan maintained a relentless pace, gradually wearing Yadong down and securing the unanimous decision victory. Yadong brought in $80,000 to show and $11,000 in fight week incentive for $91,000 on the night. While Pyotr Jan took home $110,000 to show and $110,000 for the win, along with $11,000 in fight week incentive for a total of $231,000. In the second fight, number 4 ranked welterweight Gilbert Burns displayed his elite level grappling and looked to be on the way to a decision victory against number 11 Jack Della Maddalena. That is, until about a minute left in the final round when Maddalena desperately reversed position on the ground and caught Burns with a perfect knee as he went in for another takedown, finishing him off with ground and pound to notch the KO victory. Burns earned $115,000 to show and the maximum $21,000 in fight week incentive, bringing in $136,000 on the night. While Maddalena took home $42,000 to show and win, $6,000 in fight week incentive, and Dana White announced at the post-fight presser that everyone who got a finish would receive $50,000, meaning that Maddalena received a 50 k bonus, and made a total of $140,000 on the night. The third fight saw welterweight Kevin Holland tasked with introducing Bellator star Michael Venom Page to the UFC. From the opening round, however, Holland was unable to nail down Page's speed and timing, leaving MVP just out of reach for the majority of Holland's strikes. In the second, Kevin was able to score a takedown and threaten with submission attempts. However, it was more of the same in the third, as Page's dynamic striking led him to the unanimous decision victory. Holland brought in $180,000 to show and $21,000 in fight week incentive for a total total of $201,000. While Page earned $100,000 to show and $100 for the win, $4,000 in fight week incentive, and $204,000 on the night. In the co-main event, former interim lightweight champion Dustin Poirier took on number 12 ranked Benoit Saint-Denis. Prior to the fight, Dustin was asked about what his exit from MMA looks like. Man, since I started making real money in fighting, I've been, you know, slowly putting that together. You know, I have, a, I have so much stuff going on outside of the, the, the octagon, um, businesses that I'm part of, that I own, you know, just a, a lot, I'm involved in a lot of things outside of fighting, so that's already, that's been there for me, you know? It's not like I'm fighting because I need this check, I'm fighting because I, I need to fight for me. The first round was all Saint Denis as Poirier jumped multiple guillotines unsuccessfully, ending up on the ground having to survive several submission attempts. In the second, Poirier connected with an uppercut that rocked Saint Denis and followed it up with a right hook that put him out cold and added another highlight reel knockout to his resume. Saint Denis earned $40,000 to show, along with $6,000 in fight week incentive and a $50,000 fight of the night bonus for a total of $96,000. While the winner Dustin the Diamond Poirier took home a whopping $400,000 guaranteed, $21,000 in fight week incentive, as well as $50k for fight of the night, and while it's possible that Poirier earned pay-per-view points as a former interim champion and huge draw, I'll assume he didn't for this event and took home $471,000. And finally, the main event of the evening, Sean O'Malley dominated his five-round championship fight against Marlon Cheeto Vera to retain his Bantamweight title. Cheeto chose to fight at O'Malley's range for the majority of the fight, allowing O'Malley to tee off with hard shots, notably a brutal knee in the third round. Cheeto was durable as ever, surviving shots that would have put lesser men to sleep. However, he was unable to adjust his game plan for success, resulting in the unanimous decision victory for Sugar Sean O'Malley. Vera earned $350,000 guaranteed, $32,000 in fight week incentive, and a total of $382,000. And still the UFC Bantamweight Champion Sean O'Malley took home $500,000 guaranteed, $42,000 in fight week incentive, a 50 k performance of the night bonus, and as champion and headliner he earned a cut of the pay-per-view. Based on the star power of the card, I'm estimating 600,000 buys, which comes out to somewhere in the neighborhood of $600,000, bringing his grand total to 1,192,000. 
The Florida State Athletic Commission does not officially release fighter pay information, so the totals I've shown in this video were just estimates based on reports and past earnings. As always, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this, and click the links on the screen to catch up on the most recent ones.